What's going on, YouTube? It's Camden here. So as I told you guys, um, as I go through this education leadership course, I would be telling you guys some of the assignments that we do so that um, you can know what the course is about if you're looking or interested in it. So let's get started with that. So first of all, um, we had some articles that we were reading this week, and I really wanted to vlog about these because I thought they were so good, and I just remember, like, Okay, we had to read them and then we had to do a discussion board, et cetera, et cetera. And so as I was reading them, um, the discussion board asks, what are some things that you recognize from past and present educational experiences? And I was like, hmm, as I was reading this, all these things started jumping out at me. For example, this one is called Testing the Joy out of learning so it's like basically talking about how many tests there are like in high school and in middle school and how it's just like um it takes the joy out of it because all they do is test all they do is test all teachers are concerned about is test all principals are concerned about is test how many students are passing how many students are failing how many students are going to pass how many students are going to stay here you know because um you know, as bad as it is to say, you know, for most university excuse me for most like schools and public schools it's about pass fail like that's what it's about and so um you know what's important is the numbers on the spreadsheet so um it just talks about all the things that students do and like how they um they just don't have any fun when they're learning all they do is focus on the test focus on the test and make sure that they're passing the test and so I always thought that that was just my school and um I remember reading this and I was finding that there were some students who were having these same experiences which I found to be insane for example when I was in high school um like even right right up to going to uh high school that's all it was about I remember eighth grade we had these standardized tests that was when they were first introducing them and I mean it was every day the teachers were talking about the test. They were, all that's all that they talked about were the tests, and there was nothing fun about school. And I've always loved learning. Like I've been classified as a nerd, but I love it. I love it. But I didn't have any fun with that kind of material because, um, as much as I love English and social studies and history and all that kind of stuff, none of that was fun because all it was about was returning retaining the information for the test. They didn't even care if I knew about it for the SAT or for the ACT or all the things that you need to get when you go to college or what have you. So I just thought that was insane. And uh, again, I thought it was just my school. I thought because we were, you know, kind of rocky. So I thought that that was the only reason that it was happening, but that's not true. It was very much so happening because um, all the states, you know, all the states were experiencing that. And you know, that was, this happened when they did the no child left behind. That's what the article talks about. And so I thought that was really interesting. And um, yeah, I just talked about over-evaluating testing and under-evaluating learning. So I just thought that was so, so powerful. And um, I just remember being in school and hearing that and thinking there was something wrong. But um, it's it's not right. It doesn't... Tests don't evaluate what a student knows. I learned that taking the SAT. I hated the SAT. I hated the ACT even more. Just because um, tests... I don't, first of all, I don't test well. I write well. I write well. I speak well. Uh, I can... Give me a paper, I can make you believe anything, but tell me to do a test, A, B, C, D. Um, chances are I'm just going to put C, because I don't even know if that's right or wrong, but I'm just going to put it because C is always a safe answer. Um, there's probably an outdated mode of testing. No one apply that, but that is something that, um, you know, I just feel like is crazy. And that's the way that, you know, people are evaluating school. And I don't think, I think that's a very simplified way of doing it, so... That was one of the articles. The other one was Joy in School. You can see that. Um, it's about finding joy in school. Now, this reminded me a lot of my high school and college experience, uh, well, mostly graduate school. Uh, as you all know, I love the Big Bang Theory. Uh, so most of my papers are about that. And the article talks about giving students a choice. And um, what was the other one? Oh, letting students create things. As I've been in graduate school, all of my professors have encouraged me to write about things that I enjoy, write about things that make uh, sense to me, write about things that I find uh, dominant in, uh, in our society. And I feel like that has made my writing so much better. It's made it so much stronger. It's made me even want to do it. So I am choosing the things that I write about, and therefore my choices 
are strong. They they stand with me and they make me write and they make me a better writer. And I feel like that's something that high school and middle school doesn't necessarily give you even undergrad and college because you write what the professor tells you. You read what they tell you. You study what they tell you. And it makes it really hard for students to find joy. And I just think that people don't really get that. So that this article was very, very informative. It just reminded me, even in my AP English class when I was in high school, my teacher was really, really good to us. She would let us vote on books and work together to find out what kind of papers we should write. It wasn't just about, this is what I want and this is what we're doing, because that wouldn't have made the class any fun. And we were already advanced, so she knew that we were capable enough to pick and we were capable enough to determine it. So I think that's something that people should implement even in undergrad and in middle school. I know it's hard because there are a selected standard amount of things that they're allowed to have, et cetera, et cetera, but they should find different ways to make it fun. For example, the article also talked about getting outside and doing things like that. That's so important. That is so important to let students go outside and learn and, and just, it's better. It's just better for them because they get it and then they don't feel like Eh, you know, we're doing what you want. They can flourish. So uh, I just wanted to share with you guys those articles. I think they're so good. I think they really brought some light out to it. And um, I thought my disgusting post was really good. <sighs> Cheers to me. But um, I read what some other people were writing. And I feel like they got the same messages that I did. So I'm excited to read the rest of them and, like, respond to a few of them, etc. So um, as time goes on, I hope to share much, much more with you guys. Because I feel like this class is teaching me things that either I already knew or things that they're expounding on the things that I knew, which I think is very important. So I'm very glad of that. So I just wanted to update you guys on that. So um, hope everyone's summer is still going well. Hope you guys are enjoying your classes. If anyone has any comments, put them down below. We want to hear about them. So see you guys soon. Peace.